And here we go. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. This is Surrounded. I am Vormatrax, and let's load our game. What adventure shall we go on today? All righty. <clears throat> let's see. We are currently rocking the AR-15. Why does it not show the mag? Hey, mag. There we go. <laughs> it's not the right mag, but it's a mag. I'm not sure why that disappears. All right, everything's fully loaded. Uh, we got ammo. We got reloads. We got our Spec Ops helmet, newly acquired, and our military respirator. So we're just about all set to head into some of the nasty areas, finally. All right, still looking for the better backpack. Got the plate carrier. Ah, we got uh, we got most of the stuff. Got the mill binoculars. Um, seven respirators or seven radiation filters is plenty. Yeah, I think we're good. All right, what are we gonna do? So we've got the infestation at the gas station or the the gun store, the one right next door to us here, and none down south. Huh. All right, uh, I think I'll start with just a quick sweep of the um, the local cash deposits. <laughs> um, let's see, so we had the one here, the one here, and the one here. Nothing up there. We did the observatory, end of last episode. Uh, that's a fun spot, had a good time there. Um, I want to hit... I guess we can uh, we can work our way through the locations again. Alpha, uh, Creek Prison, Beta, or Bravo, and uh, Airfield's on my list too. We've done New Richland. We still haven't finished the um, subway section of Lawrence Creek. Now that we know kind of what to expect, I know how, uh, how equipped to go in there. But let's start with a nice easy drive. Uh, what time of day is it? Not in the morning. We got skills, we don't. All right. And we doing vehicle 7454. Um got two but no gas. Let's go get some gas. Better crits, but uh, I'll just stick with the AR. I guess I left those in there to sell. Anything else I want to get rid of? Um, I don't think I need the hunting rifle anymore. All right, we're out of here. No military convoy this time. Not sure I need to loot any more metal. We're crafting almost nothing anymore. A 
Unless I want to accumulate for a second storage container, but I don't think that's necessary. Once we settle into our weapon systems, weapons are what takes up most of the space. And if I'm not continuously picking up more. There's not really any need for uh, continuing expansion of our of our uh, general storage. Road to Vostok Demo 2, huh? Since I have never heard of that, I don't care. Uh, I think we're okay there. Am I going to play Stalker 2? I don't know. First, Stalker 2 has to come out. I'm not convinced it will come out this year. If it does manage to come out this year, I will uh, make my decision after I see uh, more informa information about it. I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty enamored with uh, Anomaly and Gamma type of gameplay. I really could care less about storyline-based gameplay like the original three games. That kind of stuff doesn't interest me over much. <clears throat> so it really depends on uh, what play modes are available, whether I'll be interested. But uh, I won't be playing Stalker 2 just because it's got the pretty graphics. I don't really care about that. But we'll see. Too early to tell. So far, all we've seen is some very, very short snippets of uh, cutscene type gameplay, not actual gameplay from anybody. So I can't make the call. Next M2010, huh? A key card? Airfield key card. Wondering where you were at. <laughs>
so many guys for one small tent. They're hot bunking it. <laughs> That and they're very close friends. All right. Uh, that is the place I need to go down. Hello. Oh, how did I not hit a tree or a car? Did it change the rarities? I, in what way? What do you mean? I mean, you can set the loot drop rates yourself, so... Um, what kind of change are you asking about? Whoops. I'm not aware of any changes of that nature in the last month or two. But again, I'm not sure exactly what you're asking. Ah, again. <laughs> uh, I don't need that much gas. Um, in the time I've been playing it, which has only been a month or so, uh, all the weapons have been of particular rarities. I mean, they're, so there's not like four different kinds of MP7. There's one MP7 and it's rare. There's one AR-15 and it's rare. But I mean, there's multiple 5.56 platforms and multiple 45 platforms, but they're all fixed in type and rarity of that type. This isn't the machete, this is the katana. If you're talking about my item. I don't care about any of the other melee weapons. If it's not a fire axe or a katana, uh, I just, just walk on by. <laughs> Unless I don't have a fire axe or a katana. Oh, uh, that was... Uh... Uh, yeah, I know the one you're talking about. That wasn't, uh, oops. That's the, uh, the knife. Oh, my, my least favorite portion of the gameplay. Relatively painless. All right, let's get out of here. But no, I'm not aware there's been any changes in regards to those types of things in the last month or so.
That's the friendly one. <clears throat> Glowing dark machete. I never heard of a glowing dark machete. that one swing out. All right, um, let's go, I guess, get the easy stuff at the gas station real quick. I always call it the gas station. It's the gun store, not the gas station, gun store. Hey there, Private Bunker. See, I gotta, I gotta learn to be really cheesy. Uh, is everything silenced now? I got everything silenced. <laughs> Get over here, guys. Hmm. Come on, zombies. What the hell? That's not nearly all of them. There they are. That by itself should have attracted some more from the inside. <laughs> 
There's too many of them in the building. Stuck on the interior corner, apparently. This time, we'll actually... Hey. Hey. I'll actually kill the crawler back here. Really? Yeah, altogether too many zombies in there still. Too many bullets. Losing the light. Ugh. I don't know why it holds one bullet. Not cool. They're in P7. Come on.
Wow, a bunch of empty display cases. All right, we're out of here. Uh, I'm not impressed with grenades. Too small a damage and too small an area. Molotovs are a lot simpler. Do more damage and it's pulsing over time. And when one of the enemies explodes, it draws other guys into it. So it's just way more useful. All right, let's pop over to the traders and sell a bunch of junk. Really? Two shots? Yeah, it's crazy. Deer shrugging off close range seven six two fire. <laughs> Headshots. I only picked up the guns just because I knew I was immediately going to the trader. They're not really worth the space. They sell for 200 or so, 250, but they take up like 14 slots, 12 slots. I could make tons more money if I just brought back hats and radios in that same amount of slots. This inventory is slot based, not weight based. So an inventory full of these at 75 per space is worth a hell of a lot more than uh, 850 is a good price. That's actually really high. But I mean, 250 and it takes up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten slots. So I mean, that's 750 worth, and I'm gonna get 250. So it just really depends on my mood at the time and how much I feel I need more cash. All right, you can have all of this junk. Time to go get more junk. Uh, I'm going to sell the MP7. I just wanted the uh, backup mag.
How many days have we survived? I don't know if that's a relevant number if you're, if you're not playing permadeath, and I'm not playing permadeath on this one run, just so we can push further and I can show the audience more of the end game stuff. Normally I play permadeath, then I would be interested in survival days. I uh, don't care about that. Mm -hmm. But I guess we can go look. 34, but we've also died a bunch of times. Yeah, typically I play permadeath, so one death and I have to restart, but because I was new to the game, we were seeing the same opening early game stuff over and over again while I was figuring things out and getting better at it. So I decided to put a moratorium on my normal permadeath so that uh, we could push on and I could show folks the later game stuff. So that's what this game represents. Once I've satisfied, I know kind of what the mid-end game stuff looks like, then back to permadeath we go. We're also playing hardened difficulty. I upped the difficulty when I turned off the permadeath. Okay. Uh, let's see. Move stuff around here. Mm. Let's go ahead and pull that. All right, need the wandering trader to make a, another appearance. Sixteen thousand plus five or thirty credits. Let's do another ten grand in uh, credits so we make sure we have enough next time we see him. A wandering trader. <laughs> Just who I was looking for. Please have something good. I mean, he's got the enhanced respirator. I don't care about the Barrett. I don't particularly care about the Colonel's Revenge. Eh, I guess that is a pretty good upgrade. 42, 122. I like it. Less chance to crit, but a little bit higher damage multiplier. Battle ready Glock.
I mean, how much better is 100% <laughs> over 100%? It's enhanced military respirator. Enhanced how? If you already have 100%. <laughs> The Barrett looks crazy good. Well, of course, it's a 50 cal. The problem is I have looted an insane amount up to this point, and I have like 15 rounds for the Barrett, and you can't make it. So, I mean, how good is it if you ain't got no bullets? <laughs> it's, it's just a really fancy club. So, you know, it's not much use if you can't find ammo for it. Uh, yeah, I'm just a little concerned or confused. I mean, why would I spend 35 credits for 100% radiation protection <laughs> when I've already got 100% radiation protection? Does it actually do anything beyond? No. Uh, I think I'll hold out still. What was I waiting? I was hoping for the... Uh, what, did we, what, what, what were we trying? Oh, last time we were trying to get the respirator in the backpack. And we managed to get the respirator second separately. So he had that super mega backpack. No, there's no durability. Items never break. <clears throat> so once you have something, you have it forever. Barring you're playing permadeath and you drop your stuff on the ground and then you don't go get your bag before you log out, <laughs> which re-races your bag. We found that out the hard way, so I had to turn on the feature that we keep our gear on death because the game system is is dumb if you don't do that. So, yeah, I just don't have much, much to spend anything on. Even this, I mean, it's only 122 for the headshot, which is what you're usually going for, versus 113. I mean, it's a little better, but... Is that even enough to keep me from having to put three bullets into somebody's head as opposed to two? I'm not sure the difference is enough to even make matter. If you still have to fire three times, who cares? So, yeah, there's, there's a lot of balancing issues. <clears throat> nah, I don't think so. The game's not that complicated. <laughs> I think I'm just going to stick with my mill respirator for now. We'll just keep accumulating parts. Maybe something really fancy will show up. I've seen a fair number of the Wandering Traders merchant items now, and uh, I, I care less and less about uh, getting to the Wandering Trader. The only utility item I really care about is getting a 100% mask. Once you've got that, then that's really the only thing you need. Everything else is really convenience or slightly better weaponry. Yeah, it would be nice if you if it could be used as it's uh, one of its intended roles, anti-vehicle, anti-light vehicle. Anti -light vehicle. <laughs> All right, uh, let's make a quick trip home, drop a few things off, and then we'll go figure out which uh, which grand adventure we're going to go on. Now that we've got the early game or the uh, initial. Cash run stuff done. We gotta go pick a place to go visit and raid. I know the prison's got a ton of loot. Although I'm less caring about loot at this point. We're, we've hit the point where it looks like uh, money's not really gonna be a factor anymore. Other than hitting the merchants to buy up all the bullets.
Back in the car with you. Everything else is ready to go. Maybe I should take some landmines with me to put in the front door of the prison. That sounds mildly entertaining. Still short on tape. That's funny. Tape is the thing that's hardest to come by. Weird. Into our last skill, three more points, and we're all done. All right, so uh, where are we going? Oops. Cleared out the gun store. You anymore? We did the uh, quick and easy run. I forgot to go get the other bank uh, safe uh, right up here. Oh, well. Um, uh, that's where the uh, the vehicle is. The charger. Let's go do, let's go do the Creek prison. Now nah, let's go do alpha first. Let's, let's just work kind of top down. We'll do alpha. Then we'll come down and do the prison. Then we'll do Bravo. Uh, maybe we'll do the subway and then the airfield. Bravo and then the airfield. I don't know of any other locations. There's anything other than those. I know there's the private bunker. We didn't have the double key card. I should probably stop off at the neighborhood and grab a couple more key cards from the briefcase. Yeah. So let's go. Uh, let's go grab the key cards and we'll pop up and we'll do alpha. So we'll head over here. Um, I'll put you away. What is the 25%? That's fine for the moment. And 0%. Stop at the bomber, check for the hidden cash by the pond, and uh, grab the bomber ammo loot real quick before we take off. Loot. Ah. 
Don't care. Let's get to chopping. Took seven. So few things I care about anymore. Whoa. Hi, guys. I guess while we're here, we'll go get the uh, the safe. See how many zombies I have to be able to get to it. Now <laughs> it won't transfer.
Oh, first try. All right, we're out of here. All right, let's go to that camp. I think they have a crawler right there gnawing on them. <laughs> Little little over focus there, I think, as I keep running out of ammo. Gotta hit reload more often. Got spare mags. I miss the days when we could just reload straight into the mag without having to pull it out. Laptop. Whoops. This one's got the turret. <laughs>
high tier military. What you got? Another laptop. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Yep, I remember. We'll be on for a little while, so we'll go ahead and try to chase them down. I'll do, I don't know if you can then do multiples. I'll do one at a time, I guess. Not 100% sure how they work. What? <laughs> it's right next to, oh, it's in alpha. All right, well, that's where we're heading. That's useful. Oh, so did it generate a container there? Or was the container already there and it's telling me about it? Because I was already going there. Even put a little gold treasure chest on my, my HUD, my compass. How many zombies we got over here? I'm not going to stop. So few things I care about. Pretty good, uh, pretty good site to loot, though. When I remember to check it. All right, Alpha. Let's see. Before we head into the dark part. Where are you, dogs? I don't see anything out there right now. Hmm. I don't see a single zombie, a single dog. Am I too far out? Do I need to move in to spawn them first? Looks weird. time is it? 1500. Not a good time to go in here. I think I'm going to go past Alpha. Let's go hit the neighborhood first and then we'll spend the, we'll sleep the night away and then we'll come back at Alpha. There's a zombie as I run over a landmine. Can vehicles trigger landmines? I don't know yet. I haven't tested that.
Grid is empty so often. Ah, give me some good key cards. No key cards. That's the whole reason to come over here. Is <laughs> the key cards. Got quite a few books. Neighborhood's done. Sure work through that a lot faster now than when we're on day one. Ah, uh, we got well under two hours before it gets dark. Um, all right, let's zip down to Trader Joe's and then we'll come back down this way. My long lost charger.
I still haven't managed to answer the question of my satisfaction on whether zombies detection of you changes at night visually at least probably not sound but so the basic question is does it help to creep around at night there's the one perk that gives you more melee damage at night but is there any other benefit beyond that are you harder to see by the zombies giving you a little bit of an advantage if you've got decent night vision I am unsure. Wee bit too early. 20 minutes. Yeah, I think the only thing left on gear that we really need is the military night vision. I know there's like a spec ops plate beyond that. I'm not sure I've seen anything that I would care about that's better. I mean, we saw the gold respirator, but I mean, they're both 100%, so why? All right, nice, bright, early start. I wonder if the respawn point, does the respawn point go away when you pick this up? Let's leave it there just in case. Don't let me forget to come back and get my sleeping bag. All right, let's get up on our sniping platform. Take another look. All right, there's the dogs. One doggy, two doggy, three doggy. And the zombos. See if we can get a long, long range shot. Doggy down. Oh, that's right. Fired a weapon anywhere remotely near the red barrel, which caused it to do his explosion thing. This doggy is not cooperating. I want body shots. It's going to take too many bullets. If I even get the damage. All right. That's usually all the doggies. Uh, it reloaded. Uh-oh. Oh, that's a crawler. Lots of crawlers out back, looks like. All right, let's do this thing. Actually, let's swap this out for a fresh one and then do this thing.
Hey there, buggy. I haven't tried the buggy yet. Oh, shit. Or if I can get it looted without attracting everybody out back. Another zero key cards. Jeez. That's the way it's going to be. Jeez, the, the, the gold Barrett 50 cal mag. How exciting. Okay, three Valkyrie. That's the first time I've seen that kind of a crate where it pops out like that. We've been here before. Guess it's random. <laughs> Another 50. Take it because it's worth the money per slot. I have like five zombies hear me on one of these and we're going to get killed. Kukri. All right, I think that's it. I think we're out of here.
<laughs> Does it not have storage? Apparently it doesn't have storage. Apparently no storage. All right. Well, that means I don't care about it. So another laptop to deal with. Oh, that's the crate. Never mind. That's that's the reason. So just occurred to me that uh, the laptop is what gave us the Valkyrie. All right, that makes sense. So do we switch? I guess we switch. I mean, it's better than what we got. The only one I was looking at. So we'll do some mods uh, first off, though. Uh oh, <laughs> that's that's gonna be a problem. Oh, it does take it. All right, I was worried there for a second. Really? Oh God, am I really gonna have to find specialty gear for this thing? Well, maybe not. I guess we're gonna switch back. That's some bull crap. Yeah, not worth it. All right, yeah, that's terrible got to have specialized accessories for the specialized gun i've never seen that i remember specialized uh items for the valkyrie the only gold accessory i remember is the barrett 50 cal magazine so possibly it takes other things when we get back to base we'll try swapping in a bunch of the other systems we've got but it won't take that stuff. Forget it. Okay, so uh, we're done here. I don't really care about the charger. Let's go ahead and read another one of the, uh, or hack another one of the laptops, see where it takes us. Classified containers over by Lawrence Creek. Probably going to be a bandit camp, I'm going to guess. Maybe one of the bigger ones. I've never actually been up in this area, so I don't know what's up there. All right, we can go over there. It's a bit of a trip, but... Uh, oh, do we want to run home first? No, you should probably run home first. Or to a trader. Sell the rest of this junk. Okay. The alpha's not too hard. It's it's the key is the mask. Just get the hundred percent mask and you can go to all these places without too much trouble once you got I uh, don't even need a weapon system. I mean, could have done that pretty easily with a sword. The dogs are the only thing that really scares me. That and having a landmine go off and getting Eight zombies swarming in, all seeing you and coming after you. That can be pretty dangerous.
A lot of dogs in this place. Um, I think most of this junk I'm going to sell. Oh. Not actually holding the game. Exterminator Compensator. So, yeah, there's probably specialty versions for them. At least I haven't seen them. It's five five six. It let me swap in my 60 round magazine. It just wouldn't take the same. All the other attachments weren't fitting. I don't know. Took the wrong route. I should have turned in earlier instead of taking this back way and looping around again. Not that much better than the M4 I've got anyway, so... Well, it'd be cool to have the gold. Not critical.
Okay, straight down the road. Down past Lawrence Creek. Bandits. Right, I guess we'll clear this first. That was hard. That was tough. Not sure what I'm even looking for in the normal loot anymore. Tape, I guess. <laughs> what else am I taking? Another vehicle repair kit, sure. I guess wire, maybe. I've got plenty of batteries and everything else. All right, now we take a look at the. Just too hot. I see you hiding behind the car. I feel kind of bad shooting from this range, but <laughs> that's what the guns are for. These guys won't give me anything anyway. It'll be worth less than the ammo I just expended, most likely. Eh, 250 bucks is okay. Yeah, that's about the usual for these guys with no camp. Police station. Is this going to be the big camp? So that's Lawrenceville. I think this is the big camp. Let's go check. Yeah, this is the uh, log wall, log palisade one. Oh, 
they're all running out the back of the camp. Where are you going, guys? <laughs> Just taking an extended walk. These guys are going to circle around and get me from the flank when I'm not not looking. All right, fine. Oh, shit. Forgot about the turret. <laughs> Good thing these things are short range. I think that's everybody. Are these disappearing already? What the hell? Disappeared instantly. See a single corpse out here. The rusher. It. No boss. No boss, I can see. Nine times seven. The exterminator red dead. Oh, man, yeah, specialty stuff.
<laughs> That's kind of funny. A little random happenstance. We got the exterminator and one of the parts for it. Uh, that's it. We're out of here. Time to bunker down for the night and then we'll go hit that spot. Oops. <laughs> I forgot to grab my sleeping bag. Damn it. I said to don't let me forget my sleeping bag. You let me forget my sleeping bag. Well, that's a problem. Wrap. I would need a workbench to manufacture one. Guess we go hang out at the uh, crash ship safe zone and we loop back around to do this. That's the crashed helicopter, right? They're fighting zombies. Ah, crashed helicopter. Coyote soldiers. <laughs> it is a really bright night. <laughs> really bright. Got some armor or some hit points or something. Taking a lot of shots. Yeah. I'm getting a little light on my 762. There's at least one more.
I see. Well, that's a little more like it. Yeah. Was the last guy the one with the boss? Was the boss? That's uh, the military convoy site. That's what. It Fifty rounds. Don't remember if I got any more out here. The AR-15 already. The hell? I'm not sure what bounced my cursor off there. So I got we've got we've got a horde beacon, we've got the mill pants. Stop. <laughs> is there a zombie trapped inside there? There is. Well, that scared the hell out of me. Polymer. Got the plate carrier. Fifty cal. All right, I think that's it for that. I probably left a corpse here or there that I didn't get looted. A couple of the soldiers might have run in here. That guy. Definitely need to get the mill night vision. Still haven't seen that. All right, I don't care about the regular loot. That's an interesting stop. junk to sell. Let's continue our trip to the uh, traders and we'll get rid of most of this stuff. Keep following the road. Take a right.
This time I know we don't want to go up on the bridge. We want to go down past it. I don't want to talk to you yet. Nah, none of the scopes. Uh, well, none of them have variable zoom, and I haven't seen much difference between the scopes performance-wise. Uh, nah, we don't need stuff. All right, any sign of a trader, wandering trader? Don't see one. Yeah, we actually are getting low on 7.62. Uh oh. Have to swap back out to the other rifle. We are actually really low. I'll check when we get back home. I've got some in the main ammo storage. That's only uh, 28 rounds for going into the. Going into the prison or taking on a camp before the prison. That could be a problem. All right, so uh, back out the way we came and we'll go to classified container and then uh, probably the prison.
Hmm. Since it's over that away. I don't see anything going on over there. I've never been down in, I don't remember going down in that little subdivision, but I think I'm going to go this back way over there. Because the map thinks it's somewhere over there. I thought there'd be a enemy camp or something. Is it possible it's just going to be a crate sitting out in the middle of nowhere? Underground? <laughs> Is there a tunnel or a a bunker or something under here? Oh, there it is. That crate right there. All right. Uh, I'm going to bring the vehicle back down there. Yeah, it's just a crate sitting right up back behind the house. <laughs> the rocket launcher <laughs> 66 millimeter rockets make far away object go boom you know how many 66 millimeter rockets i've seen <laughs> give you one guess you only get one I don't need any of this regular loot. Keep the rocket launcher. Why? <laughs> I'll never use it, and it takes up uh, uh, sixteen spaces. Sixteen. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> 14 spaces, 14 spaces for something I will never, ever use. <laughs> and the shotgun's worth more. All right. So we know there's a big subway system under Lawrence Creek, but let's, let's just go, go die at the Creek prison a few times. So aim me that way. I 
Another broken Humvee. Oh, another Charger. A Charger wedged up against a working RV. <laughs> pretty good condition Charger. That's pretty good storage for the RV. 80. <laughs> hey guys. Gonna be worth the ammo expenditure. Nope, <laughs> sure is not. Larger problem is going to be my lack of storage slots heading into the prison. That's going to be the problem. There's going to be a lot of stuff I'll probably want to pull out, or I could pull out, but I won't be able to. Hmm. We go in anyway. We'll just ditch stuff as needed. Not really picking up that much stuff anyway. Alright, so back to how close can we get? So I can do my sniping from up here. Clear the initial yard. Yeah, this gives me a pretty good view before it gets all foggy. Oh, actually, that's a good call. Uh, I don't remember. I think so. I forgot to pull stuff. Classified, Bravo, Airfield. Yeah, we have two. We're okay. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> I forgot to check. All right. Uh, doggos are inside, looks like. Get headshots. Firing just a little too high. Ah, and then he moves. Okay, 
Well, unless something moves back out from behind the gate. <laughs> oh, you're so particular. Fifty six. All right, let's pull the partial. Oh, there's Doggo. I see you, other Doggo. Thing's a better sniper than the other gun is. This is way more stable. And what uses way less stamina when I hold breath to uh hold the aim down. Alright, still see two moving there. I think there might be one more doggo. Missed that first swing again. Like I love it when it goes way like it swings like this. Oof. <laughs> love it when it does that. Trying to crouch, it's not letting me. <laughs> Jeez. I tried to crouch like half a dozen times and it refused to let me crouch so I could get easier swings. There was more doggos than I thought. I think the front yard is clear. Front yard is not clear. Two more doggos than I thought. Three percent. Ouch. Time to get some anti rad pills on the bar. Oh, 
which makes me thirsty. All right. Um, give me some landmines, and I'm probably going to blow myself up. This is where I really needed to have my sleeping bag with me. Now I can't set a spawn point for when I inevitably get killed. All right, so my plan is to stand off to the side. Uh, I'm not sure how close I have to be to the door to unlock it versus putting a mine in front of it and how close I can get to the mine before it blows up. So I'm pretty likely to blow myself up doing this test. <laughs> but I want to put a landmine in front of the door, stand to the side and open the door, then loop around and then back in front of the door so things inside can see me. And I'll fire something or make noise to try to draw things out. Problem is the landmine's going to hit like the first hazmat zombie that steps out and nobody else will get hurt. So then I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do after that. In the yard, possibly we could stand on top of the police car and uh, deal with the zombies that come out. But I need a Molotov to be most efficient. I don't want to have to use bullets if they get right on top of this spot. I can't drop a Molotov. So... Ah. I wonder why you can't mantle up on top of your own vehicle. Why don't you do it on all the wrecked vehicles? All right, let's go make a mess. All right, how do these things work? I'm trying to see if I can get up on the, uh, the bus by climbing up here first. Probably not. Oh, yes, you can. Look at that. All right. Hey, zombie. You're going to set off my landmine? You are not going to set off my landmine. Bad zombie. <laughs> None of them are. Oh, I set off my landmine that way. Nobody's coming out though. That's rude. One guy. I want to know if I get them all lined up here. Can I throw a Molotov from the back of the bus to the front? Pull the suppressor off. Make some noise. There they are. <laughs> Hi, guys. I haven't seen the big one yet. There he is. Hey, buddy. All right. So now the question is. Oh, nope. I don't need you to move. Oh, crap. 
How do I get a Molotov down without killing myself? Too far. Like a charm. I only remember there being one boss in there, and that seems like a pretty good crowd. Better reload before anything else, though. Bravo, keycard and junk. I didn't really get to see the landmine. My my Molotov set off my landmine, which was fine, I guess. It you'd think with the noise it made, it would have drawn more guys out compared to uh, what my one bullet drew out. Nah, unfortunately, it doesn't. A lot of people are asking when you have a a pile like this that if you go to vicinity loot, it actually shows everything the zombies are holding, so you can just loot it from here. Instead of having to try to highlight every single body in a big old scrum. But currently we don't have that. Alright. I don't think it cleared everybody out. Oh no, I see guys back there. Those are the ones hung up on the uh, the back area. I gotta go get more, more Molotovs. Didn't bring enough. That or make more. God damn, can't get headshots from that range. Ah! Drive, drive, you're about to get chunked up. That whole group came running out. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> I only got the one Molotov. Uh, there we go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Trying to get close enough to get a Molotov into that corner before they all come running around. Oops. Not 
sure I got it into the right spot. least one zombie alive. Right on top of me. God, it is hard to switch weapons in first-person mode, especially when the camera does that kind of stuff. Ugh. You're going to have to stick with the, uh, the sword. There's a group. I'm just going to be screwed. Just trying to make sure we're cleared out before I loot anything. Now we can see how much stuff we're not going to pull out of here. Nope, don't care. We're really about to get dark. Why do I always come here right before it gets dark? Hey, we found the M249. I want the mill night vision, damn it. I'm never going to use that. I don't care. Another mill respirator. A few bullets in a high-tier military crate. Well, I got my landmine back. Still not going to give me the night vision.
<laughs> so much junk. Got in there, got that. Alrighty, that was pretty pretty poor, pretty poor. I got very little I cared about in there. All right, stop clipping trees. Whoa, <laughs> that would have been quite the pile to hit. Killed a lot of zombies, but probably would have zeroed out my vehicle's durability. Um, keep those, all the junk I'm carrying.
All right, reloaded, reset, junk sold. Uh, anything new, wandering trader? No, same stuff. So yeah, prison, pretty easy. Snipe the outside stuff a bit, clean it up, kill the dogs. Hop a door open, go hop up on the bus, and um, ring the dinner bell. And drop a Molotov or two and shoot the big guy. I wish there were more of a reason to clear out the infected areas, infestation areas. Filters really don't want to move when they're partial. Meaning with the uh, control clicking, they just don't want to go. Uh, AIDS. All right, got all my mags up there. Everything else is set. I got to check my quantity of a few things. Ah, uh, we're about full up, aren't we? Let's get rid of the Saiga since we've got the exterminator. And oh, the MP5. Never end up using that either. Not with the P90 around. All right, so seven six two there are hundred and fifty rounds for the can five five six I actually don't have a lot of oh <laughs> oops. All right, ammo contained. We're up to 53 rounds for the 50.
Okay. Yeah, five, five, six, or we're, we're short. Time to switch back out of the AR-15. Pick up the uh, the G28 that I got set up already. All right, it's done. <laughs> it's only got two slots. Fully tricked out and ready to go. I gotta give it a try sometime. I haven't done much with the uh, shotguns. So we'll sell those. Um, we're ammoed up again. Let's go make some 5.56. Five, All right, food, water, rads. Uh, we still got ads. Lots of rad meds. All right, I think I'm gonna quit right there. It's a good spot. So we um, we got a fair amount done. Uh, I think we're coasting into the the last of the stuff though. It's getting really samey at this point. Um, there's not much I care about looting anymore. The mill uh, night vision is pretty much it. Uh, I don't know of any other items that I really care about getting. Um, so we're going to hit Bravo. I haven't finished successfully Bravo. We got we died last time when we approached that. For dumb reasons, not because it was particularly difficult, but we got to do Bravo, the airfield, and then the Lawrence Creek subway. And unless somebody tells me there's some other place I need to figure out and go, the private bunker, I think, is just two key cards and one boss, and that's it. But I don't know if there is any other location we need to hit that's fairly interesting and extensive. Um, and then we'll probably wrap this run up after that. So maybe one more one more episode if I if I just concentrate on getting those things done. I think this one will take the longest. Bravo should be fairly quick. I actually don't know how hard the airport's going to be. Place is big, but unless there's an underground area, um, it shouldn't take us terrible long to do it. It'll probably be really hard, but and then I'm not sure if I care about swimming out to the oil derrick or not. That's the only other place I know about. So. But we'll give it a try, so we'll finish things up. All right, that's it for me for now. I will catch you guys a little bit later. Uh, I'm going to go get some food and do some things, and then I'll come back and play some more games. So hope to see you then.